Hi everybody, my name is Katie and I'm with the Penn State Healthy Bodies Project. Today, we're gonna start eating through the alphabet. I always like to start off with a poem, so why don't we do that? I want you to watch and I want you to listen. I'm gonna say the poem first and then you're gonna get the chance to do it on your own. Don't worry, we'll put the words up on the page for you too. This is how the poem goes. I wash my hands, I brush my teeth, I eat good foods all day. I sleep at night and when I wake, I stretch and stretch and stretch and then go play. Okay, now it's your turn. Get ready to hit pause. We'll put the words on the screen for you and you can give it a try. Let's take a second and see if we can remember the differences between go foods and slow foods. Hmm. Do you remember? Go foods are foods that we can eat anytime because they give us lots of energy and they help us to grow. Some of my favorite go foods are things like apples and broccoli and slow foods are foods that we don't really want to eat all the time. In fact, we call them sometimes foods as well because that's how often we want to eat them. Sometimes, not all the time. They're foods like cake or chips and they're delicious, but sometimes they make us feel really slow. So let's take some time here. Get ready to pause the video because you're gonna see if you can come up with some of your favorite go foods and slow foods. Let's spend some time thinking about the foods that we've already tasted while we've been eating through the alphabet. What was the last food that we tasted? Hmm. What was it called? What color was it? What shape was it? What food group did it belong in? Hmm. What letter did it start with? Hmm. Why don't you pause the video now and talk about all of those questions and maybe more with the people that you're with. Today, we're gonna to taste a food that begins with the letter V. Can you think of any foods or words that start with that letter? You came up with some great words. Some words I came up with were vanilla bean, Valencia orange, and vegetables. Are you curious to know what our food of the week is? Well, I'm not gonna tell you just yet. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some clues, and then I'm gonna show you part of our food of the week, and I'm gonna have you try and guess what you think the food is. All right, here come the clues, ready? The first clue is something we already know. Our food of the week begins with the letter V. Our second clue is that our food of the week is long. And our third clue is that when our food of the week is cooked, it becomes clear. Do you think you know what it is? Get ready, because here comes the picture. When you see the picture on the screen, go ahead and hit pause and talk about what you think the food of the week might be with anybody who's around you. See if you can figure it out before we tell you the answer. Can you guess what food this is? If you guess that our food of the week is a vermicelli noodle, you're right, it is. Now that you know what the food of the week is, we're going to put a full picture of it up on the screen for you. You're gonna hit pause and then you're gonna talk about it with the people that you're with. Talk about what color it is, talk about what shape it is, maybe even talk about if you've tried it before. You know, vermicelli is a really fun word to say. How about I say it first and then you repeat after me. Ready? Vermicelli. Your turn. Good. Now let's try it like this. Vermicelli. Good job. And one more way. Ready? 
Vermicelli. Good job. All right, now it's time for some fun food facts about our food of the week. Let's go. Vermicelli noodles are a type of noodle that are made from either wheat or rice, both of which are a type of grain. Grains provide us with energy. Some examples of grains are bread, pasta, cereal, rice, and more. They also provide us with important vitamins and minerals. Vermicelli noodles are thin, round noodles that are even thinner than spaghetti, but they can be used in the exact same way. In Italian, the word vermicelli means little worms. They are good for your heart and stomach, and they give you lots of energy. You need to cook vermicelli noodles before you eat them, but they don't need to be washed like some of the other foods that we've already learned about. Who is ready and excited to try our food of the week? Before we do that though, I want to sing our tasting song. So stand up and see if you can sing it with me or even dance along. Let's all try this new food. Let's all try this new food. Let's all try this new food. I wonder how it tastes. Thank you so much for singing the tasting song with me. I think I'm ready to try the vermicelli noodles now. And I have some right here. They're all ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead. I took some and put it on a fork and I'm ready to try. So why don't you count down with me? Three, two, one. Next time you go to the grocery store, put on your looking glasses. Pew, pew. Take a look around and see if you can find our food of the week. Don't forget, we also have a craft for you to try. You might need to gather some materials first and make sure that you ask an adult for help. Before you go, we're gonna do one more poem. Stand up, get your hands ready because you're gonna do the motions with me. Here we go. Hands on shoulders, hands on knees. Hands behind you, if you please. Touch your shoulders, now your toes, now your chin, and now your nose. Put your hands up in the air. Now by your sides, now touch your hair. Put your hands up as before. Now clap your hands, one, two, three, four. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We've really enjoyed learning with you. And we hope to see you next time when we learn about another new fruit or vegetable. Until then, see you later. Thank you.